I am so excited for this. If you guys haven't heard, we're working with Tethered this year and huge thanks to Tethered for sending this over here, but it's the perfect time for me to get into saddle hunting. I've been hunting across more and more states every year, public land, private land, and especially for that kind of hunting. Having a lightweight setup where you can hunt in any tree is so important, but really it's important for any kind of hunting. So we're gonna get into this. We're going to unbox it, take a look at everything, and hopefully climb a tree with it. So I'm really excited to see what is actually in here because I have some idea, but I don't know everything. So we're going to get this cut open. And we are going to take a look, make sure that we don't damage anything inside. All right. First thing, we have Predator Platform. This is, I think for me, really is super important for any saddle hunt. I know not everyone uses a platform, but someone that's gonna be new to this, I think it's gonna be really key to have a platform. Gonna be, you know, just nice to have that extra bit of support up in the tree. Super lightweight, by the way. We'll, we'll get the weights of everything as we go along. And we've got Lyman Belt and the tether. We have in here Skeletor sticks. So this is gonna be four sticks. That's gonna let us get pretty high in the tree. I do tend to get pretty high up. Still filming, you know, there's not only in a saddle do you have the potential to move a little bit more, but when you've got a camera involved, maybe multiple cameras involved, you're probably gonna move more than you'd like to. So I can get up just a little higher with this set of four sticks. And I think this is like a little over eight pounds for four of them. I mean, compare that to hauling a climber into the woods. This is, this is nothing. And I mentioned, I'm gonna have my camera gear. Just a little bit of weight to get up into the tree on top of the camera gear. That's gonna be so key. Having a whole bunch of weight, you know, if I had a climber and my camera gear, it would be insane to do that. Got a pack here. It's gonna allow us to get everything into the tree fairly neatly. Also got the his system. Basically, this is gonna allow us to hang a bunch of gear up there. So whether that's calls, our bow, quiver, potentially even camera gear. There's a lot of little loops here to hang a bunch of stuff. Nice thing is you don't have to screw into a tree for this. You can just wrap it around the tree, cinch it down. It's gonna be really, really nice. Super excited to have that. We've got, what is this guy? Fold and go bow hanger, how about that? One of those things I didn't know was gonna be in there. So I think this is gonna hook perfectly over that his system. That is sweet and it's like weightless. That's awesome. Next in here, oh, we have two of them. So potentially we could use this for several different things. Honestly, I'm gonna have to get it into the tree and, and see, but camera gear, there's all these things that are fairly heavy, you know, compared to maybe hanging something on a small carabiner or something. That's gonna be good. You know what else too, the quiver. That might be perfect. We'll see. We have the Phantom Saddle. Most important part of this kit. I cannot wait to get this thing on and get up in the tree. I'm really I'm having a blast unboxing this, looking at everything, seeing what's in here. But I just, I want to get up there and see. Got a little, little bag here. Ooh, look at this. I have to change hats. Tethered hat. We'll give, a, give it a minute and get that on. And Looks like a t-shirt, which I will not put on, because I'm probably going to sweat in it. That's pretty nice. I'm not going to throw those on the ground either. And then lastly, I believe we have two of these guys, it looks like. The sis hauler. So this goes like essentially on the side of the saddle, and things like maybe our lineman's rope, potentially our tether, other stuff that we want to basically keep right on us handy in the saddle that we're going to use, really especially for getting into the tree and getting everything done safely. Really quick and easy, silent, perfect for that. All right, I think that is everything. Make sure I didn't miss anything important. So if you give me a minute, I'm gonna get everything out of those boxes, put together, and uh, we're gonna try to get up in a tree. So, a little assembling later, I think we're set up ready to go. We got the Predator platform put together. We got the Skeletor sticks put together. I do have to say the sticks especially, you can really feel the engineering in these things. I mean, they are robust, they're lightweight, they feel really, really sturdy. And I mean, down to the way the spacers fit on the sticks themselves. 
you just you can tell this was put together with a lot of thought but I watched a YouTube video I'm pretty sure I know how to do this so basically we just got to throw everything back in the box and uh, set it up pretty cool right so maybe it was a little more involved in that but as someone who's literally never used the saddle until that moment setting that up over there I didn't think it was very difficult at all to figure out and I didn't want to make you sit through the entire setup of it I did film it so I'll overlay some of that as I talk about this there's a bit of a learning curve for sure and honestly the biggest thing for me was just trusting it you know attaching the tether letting my weight go to the saddle and just trusting it to, to hold the weight and the Lyman's belt was one thing because I've been using those for 10 years to hang lock-on stands you get used to that and I will say with this system too I wasn't sure what to expect as far as how difficult it would be to set stuff up you know in weather like this it's about 80 degrees and I'm going to Kentucky here in a couple of weeks I expect it to be at least in the 70s I wasn't sure if I should expect to sweat a lot setting this up it's not bad you use that Lyman's rope you just kind of let your weight be held by that you're not doing a lot it really doesn't cause too much extra exertion which I think is really good and really key if you're going to use a setup like this one of the biggest things for me you can maybe haul a climber stand when it's cool out get it to a tree and climb up without expecting to sweat too much if it's 75 degrees out I wanted something lightweight and easy to set up this is perfect for that but I'm sure there's some things I maybe could have done better the steps are a little closer together than they should have been just something that I wanted to maybe stay on the side of caution but I really liked it I think it's gonna be great for the versatility being able to pretty much set up in any tree that I'll want to whether that's Kentucky West Virginia Indiana or here at home in Pennsylvania on properties where I could hang a lock-on stand if I see a deer in a spot that I want to go and target the next day maybe later that day maybe I want to move if I have the saddle I can go there immediately no big deal but I'm gonna climb back up get tethered back in I'm gonna bring a haul line bring my bow up shoot a couple of shots just see how it feels and uh I think that's gonna do it for today. So a few final thoughts. The first thing is that I definitely need to get better at determining exactly where to place that platform. What I found was shooting to my left at the target. I was kind of in this awkward contorted position and I think either if I had climbed the tree a little further to the left and had the platform further left or maybe just put the platform on the other side of the sticks, that wouldn't happen. Now, the shots still found their mark, they could have been better, but I think for my first time using the saddle setup, shooting from that, it actually went pretty well. So with experience, I think that's only going to get better. And I think the more trees I climb, and as I said, my intention is to be up a lot of trees between now and the middle of September, the better. The next thing is that these bow hangers are fantastic. I also don't know if the pockets here are made for them. They certainly fit perfectly. Maybe the bow hangers are made for the pockets, but either way, I think that's great. Also, this pocket fits a smartphone perfectly, which, think about it, you're using the saddle, your pockets are pretty well covered up. That's actually quite key to be able to have your phone accessible if anything happens, if you shoot a deer and you gotta let everyone know, whatever it may be, that's a perfect size pocket for that too. Just everything does feel so well thought out, and that's probably my biggest takeaway from this. Not only is it versatile, allow you to hunt in so many different locations, but it's just, it's made for hunters. I think that's the, the biggest takeaway from this. And you know, I think maybe my final thought is that I'm just really excited to take this thing to Kentucky in a couple weeks, give it a try, see it in a real setting, and see how things go. As I mentioned, I'm going to be practicing a lot to be ready for this, but just a huge thank you to Tethered, not only for the saddle and the bow hangers and the hat and the t-shirt, just everything. I'm really excited to be working with them this year. It worked out so well that I'm going to Kentucky Public Land in West Virginia and Indiana this year, plus just hunting at home here in Pennsylvania. This is the year that Tether partnered with us. I think it's going to be really, really fun to get to use this thing. And I promise we'll be in it a lot, not only this fall, but in the coming years. But I think on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.